Mr Clark, you hit my son. For God, his protractor. I don't want you doing it. Thank you for your concern, Mrs O'Grady. Here it comes. Oh, no. Women always come second until we you... get equal pay. Yeah. This needs a leader, someone to inspire the girls. What? You can do this, and you should. Now we've got all this unrest at work. Unrest when you actually come out and strike. <laughs> this is about one thing, equal pay or nothing. <laughs> Everybody, out! What's going to happen to do with me? Get the banner up. Oh, no, go, go, I know the feeling. Prime Minister, I don't think you appreciate the situation. We need to tread carefully. You're the best man in my cabinet. I often say that. That's a freak. What's going on? This is being on strike. You run out of cash and you end up screaming at each other. And you tell her to get her finger out. It's gone on long enough. The time has come for all women to say enough. We will not accept this any longer. <laughs> I want to meet them. The minister doesn't do that. I am sick of being patronised. Set up the meeting! It's amazing what you've done. I'm not sure me backing you makes all that much difference. It makes all the difference in the world. I have a first-class honours degree from one of the finest universities in the world, and my husband treats me like I'm a fool. Don't give up. pay for women is right. That's my girl. What if Mrs Castle says no deal? How will you cope then? Cope? We're women. Now, don't ask such stupid questions. Yeah.